Hello Aquarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love tarot reading. And it will be for the month of May 2021, but it can really re resonate even <laughs> from now to the end of May as I am releasing these a little bit early. So let's pull a card for you. What do we have for Aquarius, please? Angel Spirit Guides in terms of love, romance, relationships. And it will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Okay, message for Aquarius, thank you. Message for Aquarius, love, romance, relationships only, thank you. What do we have for Aquarius, thank you. Message for Aquarius, thank you. I've got forgiveness. The card of forgiveness has come out. It allows you to make peace with something, not take, carry toxic energy forward with you. Okay. You know, it's interesting, that card just wanted to flip out. Oh. We have protection. You see, this person is protecting their world. Can be Empress energy as well. Um, nurturing, protecting. It's a nice energy of you are being protected as well, Aquarius. Okay, interesting. Let's pull three cards and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. As you know by now, we always do, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, message for Aquarius, love, romance, relationship. So the world card in the challenge position. Knight of Wands, Aquarius. Card of Sagittarius. And Judgment. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Aquarius in terms of love, romance, relationships. Please, angels, spirits, guides. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, we have the Knight of Cups with the Three of Cups. The Knight of Wands, we have the Hanging Man. And Judgment, we have the Five of Cups here, Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, I've got the Nine of Cups. There's a feeling here of the closure isn't happening yet. Now, some it can also be an energy of something hasn't finished yet. Interesting. Something hasn't finished yet. Why? Feels like unfinished business. Let's clarify judgment, please. Let's clarify judgment, please. So I've got the three of pentacles. Let's clarify this five of cups as well for Aquarius in love, romance, relationships. Uh, so five of cups, we have the queen of wands and the ace of swords. Queen of wands is Aries for me as a reader. Can be fire energy or just the energy of what that represents here. And what is this hanging man? King of Cups. It, it feels in a situation, yeah. Um, the Eight of Swords, it can be a card of negative thinking or uh, feeling trapped or it can be trapped inside your own head, you know. There's a feeling of, of a difficulty in, in ha having closure in a situation, you know, that the world card is completion. Obviously, in the challenge position, it can mean the challenge of that. So the challenge of something completing. And it feels for some of you, you don't want to see something completing or... Um,
something is holding you back from seeing some kind of completion. The Three of Cups can be a card of closure as well. And, you know, this Knight of Cups can be in terms of the offer, the love, an expression of love that brings change. It definitely feels in this situation, Capricorn, there's some, I was definitely, sorry, Aquarius, there's some unfinished business. You might have been dealing with a Capricorn, by the way, because I said that. Uh, but it feels like unfinished business. Because this King of Cups, male or female energy, is a card of Scorpio. And it, it feels like somebody is, is, is waiting. I mean, the, the Hanged Man can be a card of Limbo or waiting for something to play out. And again, this Knight of Wands is this green light energy ready to go, take inspired action. Um, it, it definitely, I mean, the, the King of Cups can offer love as well, but it feels in this situation, Aquarius, something is happening here that is stopping you from moving forward, moving on, taking action. You're waiting for something to play out. And it's almost kind of, it might well be, things need to be finalized. Things need to play out. There are maybe steps that you need to go through here. You might be waiting on some kind of green light that gives you the final, you know, dots the final I, crosses the final T, you know, that kind of energy. Uh, because I definitely see that Knight of Wands is something, is like you want to take action. You want to move away from whatever this situation is but you know and just move on get back on the horse take the reins of your life charge ahead but it feels in this situation something is stopping you because something needs to play out here you might be waiting for something Clarify this Nine of Cups. High Priestess Energy. And the Ace of Cups. The emotional rebirth, a new love, renewed love. I'm getting this energy. I mean, the Knight of Cups is offering the cup and I'm seeing this cup being offered at the end. It, it definitely feels in this situation somebody is is waiting for someone to... I'm getting in this situation offer. There's a feeling of all is not lost here. Unfinished business. Because the Queen of Wands, understand, was when the time is right to take action. You might be dealing with the Queen of Wands, somebody who's confident, outgoing, um, gregarious, social. Um, but she, she is generally a card of somebody who is in her power, who takes inspired action. But when the time is right, and again, this feeling of the Ace of Swords, the mental clarity, this is when I need to make the decision. This is when I need to, you know, the, the, the clouds are parting, the blue sky is coming. I, this is the time. This is the time that I need to make some kind of decision or choice. Or I'm getting clarity on a situation in how I need to take action now. And it's to do with the Five of Cups, lost regrets, looking back, um, feeling down about something that's gone. You know, the, the three cups built on the floor, but there are two cups behind this person full of uplifting opportunity and hope. So there's definitely an energy here of, I mean, this can be a breakthrough energy as well. There's regret here. Feels like there's regret. And something's been stopping either you moving on or somebody moving on because there's regret. Yeah, so I'm getting in this situation, you know, the three of coins, I'm feeling rebuilding energy. Or you building a new path, you know, it can be about doing up a home, a property as well. Um, very good in terms of money and career as well, the three of coins, the beginnings of success. But there's definitely an energy, what the three of coins can represent is the teamwork. 
um, which is why I'm getting the sense of rebuilding, like-minded souls rebuilding something. And it feels like somebody, there's some kind of breakthrough, the clarity that either you've been waiting for or that this other person, they might have been waiting for the right time to act. Uh, and it could well be, I mean, they may have been alone for a period of time as well, Aquarius. Um, I'm saying this because it's coming to me. They might have been alone for a period of time, but there's been unfinished business. Something hasn't finished. Something hasn't quite played out. And there's definitely an energy of all is not lost here. Because it definitely feels in this situation they're regretting their actions, whatever those actions were, whatever you felt negative towards, whatever was bringing something to a close here, it feels like it's not quite closed, not quite finished off. Because, you know, judgment comes before the world. So how this, how this closes is down to some kind of judgment call decision. Um, how something is completing is down to a decision that you need to make and it's in terms of love romance relationships i suspect that somebody is regretting their actions and it feels in this situation they are coming back and it feels to renew love to rebuild something and the judgment card is an energy of make a decision there will be a reason to make some kind of decision a choice and it's a karmic decision because it's a decision that will probably stay with you for quite some time you know the world is generally an energy of when it's closed it's finished you don't go back so it it definitely feels in this this situation that this cycle is closing but it's not quite finished yet there is a window of opportunity and it's a karmic window of opportunity to make some kind of decision choice and it feels like something will happen which will require you to make some kind of decision choice because I definitely feel in this situation somebody who is full of regret here is getting, it feels like there's some clarity here, some breakthrough. Um, some decision or choice that needs to be made here in terms of which way you go but there is a feeling that there is still hope all is not lost to rebuild something um because we have the nine of cups which is the heart's desire the wish coming true and it's linked with this ace of cups which i feel is what this knight of cups is bringing in they may have spent like i said they may have spent some alone time some isolation here um, they may have walked away or, you know, they could have been on their own for a period of time and realized what they're missing. Because, you know, the, the high priestess is a kind of soul path energy, intuition, their instinct, you know, it, it definitely feels in this energy that, you know, the nine of cups is heart's desire energy, happiness, joy, um, reasons to be thankful. celebratory energy as well so it, it, you know this is like a wish coming true for somebody and it, interestingly enough i'm feeling second chance energy it feels like somebody wants a second chance because the ace of cups is being offered to you again you know i i am definitely getting this 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 knight of cups coming in wanting to bring change to a situation having had time some alone time maybe to reflect um or having appreciated what it's like without you and they might be asking for some forgiveness here the ace of cups can be a uh, renew renewal of love um it's a new beginning energy as well but it's where the cup is beginning to be filled again and it's you know, the, first and foremost, you are being filled by divine light. The message is instinctively you need to follow your heart here, Aquarius, uh, to do with giving somebody a second chance. But I'm definitely feeling in this energy. Something hasn't quite played out yet. There's definitely an energy that somebody hasn't put something behind them. And that's what spirit is saying. Either you haven't or they haven't. Um, someone has acted and they've regretted their actions. And there is definitely an energy with judgment that your actions have consequences here and there is some clear decision or choice. You have a choice to complete something or to forgive and allow yourself to move forward and renew, you know, the love. And it feels like that's what the energy is here. Someone is definitely regretting their actions and there is a karmic 
<laughs> some kind of karmic decision or choice to make. And it feels that there will be some, the event is going to happen, but it feels like it'll be a timely event or a timely situation. Uh, things happen when they're meant to happen. And it definitely feels in this situation that will be, you'll be clear in terms of when you need to take action. Yeah. Wow, Aquarius. But that's what I'm definitely feeling. It feels somebody wants a second chance. They want forgiveness. And there's a kind of cautious self-preservation energy here as well. You know, somebody protecting their world. So it, it feels for some of you, you have an opportunity to forgive and release, move forward, or forgive and renew the love. Okay, yeah, we have Owl Sight. Detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. Yeah, interesting. I'm going to pull one more for you, Aquarius. Leaf Cutter Ant, Army of Life. Ask for help, seek support. You are not alone. It might well be talking it through with somebody would help you. And I've got um, one more. Yeah, divine. I, I definitely felt like there is something to do with. You'll know when the time to act is. We have um, Tiger, Divine Timing. Good, thing, good things come to those that wait. And we do have the hanged man here, which is definitely an energy of just the ducks aren't in a row. It's, something needs to be played out, but something is, is stopping a person from getting on the horse and charging ahead and leaving the situation behind. So it's almost like something is pulling them back and it feels to do with the heart feelings. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Aquarius, and I will see you next time. Thank you.